for another pregnancy update. I am going into week 18 today, so I am gonna update you on my 17th week of pregnancy. <laughs> and as you saw in the intro, the baby is now the size of a chipmunk. Kind of weird. Um, I think the fruit or vegetable equivalent was a pomegranate. As far as I understand from the apps that I am using and reading, um, it's growing pretty rapidly right now for a few weeks, so that's kind of fun. And also, something that I realized this week is that I am now into my fifth month of pregnancy, because 4, 8, 12, 16, yeah, <laughs> I'm in my 17th, 18th week now, so four months are done, which is, that just sounds so weird, that's so much. I mean. A pregnancy is nine to ten months depending on how you see it and just yeah it's just kind of crazy <laughs> to me at least I thought that I would start with symptoms as I always do just kind of get them out of the way um, let's see what I normally talk about fatigue yes um, I think it's kind of getting better but like today, I fell asleep when I got home from the university and I just could not wake up. Michael tried to wake me up to, to make dinner and I just, I mean, I woke up. It's not like I was passed out or anything, but I just could not open my eyes. I could not get out of, like, get up from the couch. So he had to make dinner, which happens quite often right now because I'm just so tired in the afternoons. Um, so it's definitely still there, but I think it's gotten a bit better. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, nausea is pretty much all gone. I can feel it sometimes when I kind of exert myself too much, but I think that's not really a pregnancy thing. I can feel like that whenever, <laughs> like if I'm um, pushing myself too much. Um, so nausea gone. Yay! That's a blessing. Headaches have actually been a bit better this week and I haven't taken the pills. Um, am I lying? I haven't taken any pills, so I'm not lying about that, but maybe I'm lying about the headaches being better, actually. All Saturday I had a headache, and all Sunday, so okay, maybe they're not better, but I haven't had a headache today, and that's, I guess, what I'm going on, so um, maybe, I don't know, they're probably the same as before. Um, I haven't really noticed peeing more during this pregnancy, and I didn't when I was pregnant with Tyrion either. I know some people have to kind of get up lots of times during the night and stuff. I don't have that unless I drink way more than normal, which I'm trying to do, so that's the reason why I pee more. But this week I actually have uh, woken up, I think, once every night to go pee, so I guess that's starting now. Um, so that's a symptom too, I guess, and I can't really think of anything else. I feel like there's probably something that I always talk about that I have completely forgotten now. Um, heartburn started a bit this morning, but it could be just because I was stressed this morning, so I don't know. Um, yeah, let's, let's just move on to more fun things than symptoms. Um, purchases. I have made two baby purchases this week, or I guess you could call them that. The first one is a book that I got today, actually, in the mail. I ordered it. It's called Now I Am a Big Brother. And it's like one of those baby books that you buy where you fill in stuff about your baby, only this is for the older kid and the baby, which is quite ador adorable to me. So it starts out with like waiting for you. This page is kind of funny because it's um, it says um, it's out of the like older kids perspective. So it says, I think you are a boy, a girl, an alien um, or a frog. <laughs> And then you can write in something else if, if the kid thinks it's something totally different. And so it starts out with waiting for you pages, like 15 pages of that, and then um, finally here pages, um, where you kind of write about their first meeting and uh, you can of course put in pictures. Here's supposed to be a picture of um, the baby and the uh, older sibling together and it's just, yeah. It's a really cute book. And then after the finally here, there's uh, our everyday life section. Um, with kind of what the kids like to do and the baby likes these songs and the older sibling likes, likes these songs. So I think it's a very like sweet way of um, including the older child as well um, and making this like their book together. Um, and it's also good because we did have a baby book for Tyrion and we haven't um, filled it out at all. We just 
very much drop the ball so <laughs> Uh, this way we can kind of throw out the old one um, and have this for both kids and hopefully use it and really like fill it out completely and have it for the future so that's kind of sweet or very sweet and very happy that I got it I've been looking at it for months but now I finally was like okay I can order it now so I have that and then the other purchase that I made arrived yesterday and I am so happy about it and it is this let's see if the camera will even focus I don't think it will but we shall try so I can't see anything right now, so I'm just hoping that you can see this. This is a pregnancy necklace, and I don't know how, how common they are like around the world. I don't think they're super common in Sweden either, but my dad's wife had one of these when she was pregnant um, seven years ago, and I, I, I always admired it and, and kind of loved it. And then I didn't get one with Tyrion, and then with this pregnancy I've been kind of trying to hint to Michael that I wanted one. Um, and he didn't really take the hint, so this weekend I told him, I really want one of those necklaces. And he was like, okay, let's order one. So yeah, not super romantic, but whatever, I got my necklace. Um, and it has um, chimes inside, let's see if you can hear it. And it's also got a very long chain, so if I stand up, you can see that the actual ball is like on my belly. And I guess the idea is that the chimes, that the baby is supposed to hear them when you walk and then recognize them when they come out of the belly and I'm not sure if that's true but I think it's very just it's sweet and um, yeah it's just a cute thing to have and uh, the site that I ordered them from they also have clips uh, so that you can take off the necklace after the baby is born and clip it to like the stroller or the um, diaper bag or something which is gonna be fun too to kind of keep it um, and that's it for purchases but I also am making something for the baby uh, which is <laughs> doesn't look like much right now but this is gonna turn into a jumpsuit and I feel like already that the proportions are a bit off I think my knitting tension is not the best um, so we shall see if this even fits but if it doesn't I mean it's just fun to make and it's taking so long it's taking so long to make this tiny little garment, but, but I enjoy making it. I am binge watching Netflix series and just knitting away, so it's been a fun weekend uh, to do that. Um, I wonder if there's anything more that I wanted to talk about, but I don't think there is, so let's just go look at the belly. You got a little sneak peek already, but here is the proper belly shot. Let's see if I can do this with the necklace in the way. Um, I have to stand on my tippy toes again. Here is the belly. Um, I always, always feel like it uh, doesn't look like much on camera. But in real life I do feel like I, I look quite pregnant now. Uh, but yeah, that's the belly. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs. And we will see you tomorrow. Hey doll! I know it's not the best chipmunk rendition ever, um, but I don't think I've ever colored a chipmunk before. And I